Ironwood Games. This is Andrew. And this is Marcus. Unfortunately, Marcus can't be with us today. I cannot. What? You're here, this is Marcus. This a pre-recorded message. <laughs> it's just getting interjected at random times. And <laughs> uh huh. That's right. Um, <laughs> Stock laugh audio clip inserted here. Uh. <laughs> At least we're having fun. That's the important thing. Ha ha, Andrew. You are so funny. I think so. Tell me I more about it. this puzzle. So, well, we're back here on Mist. I um, I think the next land is going to be... Andrew, you are so funny. Please tell me more about this puzzle. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think so. <laughs> but... Uh... So, so spaceship. So yeah. So I started. I kind of got us here just to look at it because I'm trying to trick uh, YouTube to selecting this as the um, image uh, for the video because I'm too lazy to go in and upload a a video myself. Um, so I've turned the switch on oh. here. Um, but the door does not open right now. And I think, um, let me go here. I think that we can re, there we go. Change the tower to our spaceship um, <clears throat> as we've done in the past. Um, I guess I'm skipping the step of where we look at the books. So let's go to oh, the yes. bookshelf. What's the next book? Yes. So we did Channel Wood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, we did Stone Ship. And mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. that's all. Every other book on here is burned. So mm -hmm. in the mm -hmm. next uh, row, the first book is this one here. Which, when we do our speed read, of course, we learn is this very kind of unstable age um, that Atris goes to every couple of years and kind of evolves and has some new uh, parts. Andrew, quick. Insert speed reading sound here. No, that's my speed drawing sound. Um, no, you're supposed to be quiet because reading doesn't make any sound. Oh. And then we just... <laughs> well, you got me. <laughs> I failed that test. I, um, I actually, like, whisper to myself when I read um, <laughs> and it can be annoying to others like during silent reading in school and stuff I'd get in trouble sometimes because I was too loud but I don't know it's how I like I'm an auditory learner and so somehow like I can process better and read faster if I can read it so I'm always like one of my childhood best friends was the same way he always had to read it out loud to himself and like but it's like a weird like mumble like um, you know, but anyways, but sometimes they get loud. So, um, one of the common themes as we read this book, right, is we can see the word here, sounds, constantly through my ears. Last night I was awakened by a horrible hissing, right? So there's a lot of mention to sounds, various sounds in this. Oh, it looks like kissing in my end. Horrible oh. kissing sounds. Horrible hissing, hissing, um... <laughs> on that um here we see the chasm with some steam rising out of it <clears throat> and then we have this cool faded ink issue where then we stop being able to see what happens um we have some kind of antenna and we have a picture of the spaceship so that we know oh the spaceship must be connected to this age spaceship which i ruined that surprise for us because i already said that <laughs> All right, so Ooh. here we have this picture. We're going to jot that down real quick. Do you want me to take a picture? Yes. I don't know what we're going to do with that, but I'm sure that's going to come in handy. It's Click. looks like a keyboard. That's and my camera some sound. Highlighted order of things. So, And then we've got a map. We don't need that, but it's there. All right. 
So that's where we now said, oh, spaceship, we're going to turn it on, adjust our spaceship. tower to the spaceship. And let's go look at our tower. So when we get here, we'll, we'll talk about it a little bit more. Um, this is one of my, or my least favorite of the four islands. You don't like going to space? I do not. <laughs> So we'll we'll see as we go up our tower here. Um, so we're trying to figure out right our keys and doing this. So again, if we look through our viewfinder, we see the spaceship. So that means we're lined up right. And then we go back to the other side and we'll get our key. And as I said, the spaceship door right now is closed, locked, and we need to try and figure out how to open it. So our key here says 59 volts. So remember that number, 59. And volts feels like, or is a word that reminds us of... Uh, can I have a hint? Yes, volts. Your hint is volts. What was the word again? Volts. What does the volts rhyme with? No. <laughs> what is... <laughs> like a word association game. I say volts, you think... Uh, the Flash. <laughs> okay, I got it. Um, no, uh, yes, the Flash. No, electricity! Oh, that's what that is? So that was just a telephone line. So, it's a power, <laughs> power line. So, Ooh, let's... Oh, power line. That's see a reference. If we need to set up. Goofy movie reference? Yeah, good job. Oh my goodness. Um, if we're you're a boomer. <laughs> this power line. It looks like we need to give the spaceship 59 volts. And it looks like it ends up here in this building. Let's flip on the switch. Um, remember last time we oh, did so get this is own world? pieces. No, this is part of the opening up that other world. Um, last time we saw both halves of that paper that talked about the island markers mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that will be relevant at some point. So that's why we're turning them all on because it said the first step was to turn all the markers on. So we're going to go down into here since this is where the power cords, the power line led. That's not creepy. Not at all. We've got down here um, a little <clears throat> power plant station. So we've got some um, generators or whatever they have here. And we've got two windows and a bunch of buttons. If we push the buttons, um, it looks like we get... I'm going to assume these are volts and we're getting 10 volts. And so we want to get how many? 59. 59. So it looks like each button is a different amount. And we're going to have to figure out how to get 59. And so it looks like if we do multiple of them, they add up. Oh no, if only we had a math teacher here to help us. I know, if only. So we've got 10, 7, 8, 16, 5, 9, 19, Nine. 22, 2, and 1. And we need to, oh, here's a map, or a little guide that says generator switches. Okay, so this 
left gauge tells us the power and the right gauge tells us how much power is getting sent to the spaceship. Okay, so if I remember what they all do, which I don't, we're going to start with the biggest ones we can um, and try and get close. I think that's... We need to get to... What was it 59? Okay. Oh. Okay, 62 is too much. And when we went over, looks like we tripped something because we've got 62 here, but nothing's going to the spaceship. So, um, let's um, map this out. Ooh, 58. Okay, I got kind of Top right. randomly. This one was one, right? Okay. So, let's leave these on since they're 59. That's what we wanted. And let's go see. We need to figure out um, where the breakers are, because we tripped something here. Did you purposely do that? I might have. <laughs> um, you want the full experience. You want to see all the parts, don't you? You're like, oh, I tripped the breaker. Oh, no. Uh, well, it wouldn't have been as much fun if I just clicked the, the five correct buttons and then we went on. So, ooh, there's a ladder here. Let's climb up here. Oh, here's a switch. So we can reset that breaker. And then um, we can see if it works. I know it doesn't work, so we're going to go and say, oh, here's the other pole. Let's climb up here and reset that breaker. Now that we've reset both the breakers, let's go see what happens. All right, so now we have 59 volts going to the spaceship, which is what we wanted. Yay, puzzle complete. Do, 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 do. And with that, that means our door opens now. <gasps> spaceship! So we can go in the spaceship. All right, so we've got something here okay so when i pull this lever it makes five tones don't 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 that's boring i can oh as i move that we slide oh so it's like five notes these are changing the pitch, the tone. If only there was a clue that told us something about five notes in an order. Let's go back. If there oh. was, I What's was this? Not oh, oh, I remember. There's a keyboard. So, good thing we wrote this down. Yeah, and so play this is left C. Our uh, music knowledge comes in here. Low C? Low C, yep. And then octave higher. And then uh, two sharps to the right. And then... Uh, uh, F, F lower. Yep. And then, um, uh, B flat right there. Yep. That was it. That order. So, and this is where we find very quickly why I hate this land is because it's all about sound. That doesn't do, do anything. You're a musician. No, I know. But, so this is our pattern. Yep. That we get the sample of, but we have to go and plug it in here. So you have to literally like do oh, you have to tones, tune it. It, yeah, tuning in your head, which I'm terrible at. Um, 
Luckily, I at least understand where things are kind of relative to, to each other. Um, and you can do that, but it's... I, I hate this. I think that's it. That's, I like this puzzle. I wish I could hear it. It's like you're starting an acapella group. There's the the problem with it. There's no indication if I've got any of the other ones correct either, though. You know. That sounds right to me. I don't know. to, what is it, B-flat? There. Uh, so we're not quite on with something. Might be this one here. There we go. And once we get it all input correctly, we see, ooh, a little book here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, a digital book. It's an ebook, 90s ebook. And let's click it. So, and we get our flyby of our new age, Selenitic Age. So you'll notice those. Uh, antennas or radar dishes that we saw a picture of in the book kind of around the island it's a an idea and now we are nothing works here we are ooh, somewhere else the door closed behind us and we are here in our new age so just like um the spaceship everything here is sound based and one of the reasons i it like this land the least so it looks like this is another lock that we need to set to five different tones the good news is these tones are not notes, they're actually distinct tones, like sounds, so it's a little bit easier than that one. Than trying to tell the, you know, notes by half steps apart, because that's not my strength. Um, and so we're gonna kind of explore around this island. So there's a stack of antennas or whatever we've got here okay here oh so this is that chasm i think that the book talked about and you'll notice if you see we've got right here is a microphone and then we've got this nice symbol of the chasm with the steam and we're going to push the button turn it on which is going to turn the microphone on and oh over here looks like there's a broken clock tower um, oh and there's another microphone attached to the antenna so let's you, you haven't had to click up before I mean you don't like have that. to click up I just wanted to show you the microphone. Um, so that was our chasm. Let's go over here. Ooh. And here is a nice little bubbling stream. 
with the microphone. Oh, and a water picture. So all these parts we're keeping in mind here. Oh, and look. The blue, page. Grab the blue page. Because we need those. So we'll grab that, take it with us. Um, so we did say there's five tones in this key. We found three so far. We found the hissing steam vent, the clock tower, the bubbling stream. And let's keep going a little bit. Oh, here this is like a whistling. Your red page. Oh, and there's a red page. You want to keep the blue or take the red? Let's keep the blue. Keep the blue. All right. So here with the crystal sound, this is the sound of like wind through pipes. All right. And then we've got oh, the sound of like uh, wind through a tunnel. Here, so let's turn that one on and then I think we've gone everywhere yeah on this path except for this middle part how do we get to the middle part let's take this tunnel turn on some lights is it important for you to turn off the lights no we don't pay the power bills here. <laughs> okay, and then what have we got here? Oh. No. Oh, that kind of freaked me out a minute. <laughs> Some kind of control panel. Okay, so what are we going to do here, Marcus? Press buttons at random. All right. So we see... On these buttons down here, these are the symbols ooh, that we saw. Ooh, wait, wait, that's 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 a sigma sign, isn't it? Isn't that what this is sun? sigma down here? Yes. I remember that from physics. <laughs> that does mean some. So we're gonna. So we see the symbols that we saw on all near all the microphones, uh -huh, uh -huh. right? And we see some sigma. Thing that we can sum them up or add them together or something. And these buttons up here, oh, move our view finder around. Is there any sound coming out of it? Um, there's a lot of static that comes out of it right now, but. So that is the clock tower. Just press kind the clock tower. There, right? So let's press the clock tower button. Oh, but it reset. Okay, so let's... And when we get here, now I can hear the clock tower coming through. And we can see we're kind of lined up with that dish in the picture. So it seems like we're going to do that for all of them. So what are you hearing? The tick-tock of the clock. Oh, uh, okay. So do I have to add those numbers? No. Okay. No, that's just for reference, I guess. So let's... Okay, so we went back to the water. Let's remember where the water came from. Is that the water? No, the water was the back way. this way, right? I don't remember where the water is. Well, let's. We already found the clock. And this is. Let's do this one next then. This is which. I think the chasm, right? 
Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And now we can hear the chasm coming through. Okay, so we've got two of them set. We're still trying to find this water. I think it's back here somewhere. But I don't remember exactly where. But let's do the other ones. So these, this crystal, remember, was the um, sound of the wind chimes, which I'm picking up right here. Okay. Oh, are they all? I think I guess they're all different cameras. Yeah, I think that's. Oh, okay. That's. I assumed it was the same camera that was just starting at different locations. I don't know why I assumed that. That was weird. I think this is the, uh, yeah, wind coming through the tunnel. So we've got four of them set, and we need to find the water. And I don't know why I can never find it. where it's over here between the clock and the chasm I can hear it. Okay. Let's bite this on the other side of this little thing. Okay. So now I think we've got them all set, right? Water. Chasm. Clock. Wind chimes. Wind tunnel. Good. So let's push our Sigma button. Okay, so then that, I think, locked everything in. Oops. Locks it in once we do it. And says, so those are our uh, tones. Now what are we going to do with them? Go to the door? That's right, the door. The You're door. So smart, All right, so let's remember this order. Water, chasm, clock, wind chimes, wind tunnel. Secret tunnel. And we got to go back through the tunnel. Go over here. I'm going to turn the lights off for Marcus. There you go. And... Go all the way back past the clock tower to the secret door here. And now... Okay, that's water. The next one was chasm. I think. Clock tower. There's clock tower. Okay. Chimes. Tunnel. Oh. Chimes? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the chimes. 
And that's the wind tunnel. This one I did wrong. This was the chasm. The chasm's there. Yeah. So if you hold them in that spot, you can hear it. Water. Chasm. Clock. Chimes. Wind tunnel. All right, let's push the button. And did it work? Or did we do it backwards? Those are all the right sounds. Do we we mess something up, Marcus? And this is why I love. Pause and try to figure it out. This land. Um, oops. Um, we're just gonna go back down the tunnel real quick. Turn the lights on. Oops. Turn the lights on. And see. Yeah, okay. So I remember. So they don't play in this order. When I hit the button, they go in a different order. So we have to listen to that order. It's chimes, water, wind, chasm, clock. Yeah. Chimes, water, chimes, water, Wind, chasm, clock. And then we'll do it. See, it's tricky. It tricks you. Okay. All right. What did we say? We said chimes. Water, wind, chasm, clock. There we go. Shall we? Might as well. And you thought that was fun. Just Submarine. So, or spaceship. Some kind of spaceship. It's really called the Maze Runner, in case you're interested. And we've got forward, backtrack, left, and right. Let's push the button. Oh, that just opens the door, right? Let's close the door. Oh, if I push forward, it starts going. In fact, I hate this puzzle so much, we're going to stop here because it's been quite a bit of time um, doing this one. So we'll split this age into two. I think when we come back on our next video, we'll do this maze. We'll deposit the, the book. We'll grab the other page, or the blue page. We'll grab the pink page, finish off this land, and then... Continue from there. How does that sound, Marcus? Sounds good. Do the hokey pokey in the comments. We'll see you next time. All right. Thank you, guys.